How much wheat yield are you giving up when you drive over the crop? Drive down loss and three solutions for it are the topic of today's Iron Talk. We don't typically have big problems with weeds or insects in our wheat fields. Many years, we don't have a ton of disease pressure either. However, we are making multiple in-crop applications in our wheat fields every year. The good news is now we really don't have weed, insect, or disease problems, and we're getting higher yields. The bad news is that if we don't put in tram lines, we're going to run down some wheat. Montana State University a few years back estimated the yield loss from drive down to be somewhere between 1 and 3.4 bushels per acre, depending on the spray boom size. So in addition to covering the cost of your equipment, any potential yield gain would also have to offset the drive down loss as well if you didn't have tram lines. This leads us to the solutions for drive down loss. First, aerial application can be used. The downsides are added cost, timing of application as the aerial applicators are generally in high demand, and the fact that hardly any farm operations can do aerial application themselves. The second solution to drive down loss is getting a bigger spray boom. If you're still running a smaller sprayer, keep in mind that going from a 60 or 90 foot boom out to a 120 foot boom or even bigger results in fewer passes through the fields and less tracks. Finally, tram lines are a very simple solution to this problem. They can save you in drive down loss and additional application charges. Tram lines give you the flexibility to make multiple passes through your wheat field for any type of application you may need. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.